oxides of nitrogen and in this video we'll be seeing how we can write the different chemical formulas or chemical names of the various nitrogen oxides and come to their structures very easily so i hope this video will help you remember these structures in an easier fashion rather than simply memorizing them okay the oxide nitrogen which means that it is a compound that is formed between nitrogen oxygen so for writing the oxides of nitrogen we first write all the possible oxidation states nitrogen oxides can have oxidation states or oxidation numbers plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 5 once we write their oxidation state from this we can actually write their formula and from the formula we can easily write their name and once we have the formula we'll be able to write their structure and from the structure so finally we'll write in what form they exist that is whether they are a solid gas or liquid okay so first looking into their formula nitrogen oxide having oxidation state 1 for nitrogen will have a formula of n because oxygen is in an oxidation state of minus 2 and only we have two nitrogens of plus 1 oxidation state then the charge will be balanced and total will be equal to 0 so this is the formula and for oxidation state 2 the formula will be N O ok and from here on it's like N 2 O 3 N 2 O 4 and finally N 2 O 5 it's like N 2 O N 2 O 3 N 2 O 4 and N 2 O 5 easy to remember easy to write only thing is plus 2 is N O apart from that the others all follow a pattern 1, 3, 4 and 5 follows that N2O, N2O3, N2O4, N2O5. All of them has two nitrogen and number of oxygen atoms corresponds same as that of the oxidation state. Right. N2O, N2O3, N2O4, N2O5. Now, let's write a name. Between these two, when you write a name, one rule to be remembered, not just for oxides of nitrogen, but for also acids of sulfur or phosphorus also, we can always say that Something that ends the name that ends with the word OUS, it corresponds to a lower oxidation state. Okay. Whereas a name that ends with IC, IC corresponds to a higher oxidation state. Okay. So we have like sulfurous, sulfuric, phosphorus, phosphoric nitrous, nitric and all. Right. So OUS. Out of these two, if you consider the first and the second one, we can see that this one has a lower oxidation state. The first one has a lower oxidation state. Therefore, it is nitrous. This is nitrous oxide. Okay. And the second one, if you see, it has a higher oxidation state. So it is eek. This is nitric oxide. Okay. Then these three we can name it like depending on the number that is here. It's dinitrogen trioxide, dinitrogen tetroxide, dinitrogen pentoxide. Okay. we wrote their name also. Now we move on to the structure of each of them. So the structure means what you have to remember in this is every nitrogen, every nitrogen can have a maximum of two oxygen atoms attached to it. Okay. All the structures if you look you'll find that every nitrogen has a maximum of two oxygen atoms attached to it and one of the oxygen would be double bonded 
one of it will be n double bond o and the other one would be a dative bond or a coordinate bond where nitrogen donates its lone pair of electrons completely to oxygen okay these are maximum of two oxygen atoms attached to every nitrogen and each nitrogen it, uh, it, it can have a double bonded oxygen or a nitrogen with a dative bond or coordinate bond okay keeping this in mind we are going to draw these structures so in the first case there is n2o so there is only one oxygen that goes and the other one would be here this is the structure n triple bond n single bond o n2o second one is nitric acid oxide which is no so it's just n double bonded oxygen third one has two nitrogen and three oxygen so where how will we put it one nitrogen here and the other nitrogen here okay that is there every nitrogen i told can have a maximum of two oxygens right so this nitrogen if i consider i'll give total of three oxygens are there so one oxygen i give to this by double bond so that means the other oxygen that is attached has to be to dative bond and now there is one more oxygen that can't be put to this nitrogen but to this next nitrogen and double bond and now a bond exists between the nitrogens okay this is dinitrogen trioxide and then dinitrogen tetroxide let's look into that so again two nitrogens are there so one nitrogen is here one nitrogen is here and four oxygens so two oxygen will go for this one is double bonded one is dative bond again the other two out of the four two we gave to the first nitrogen the remaining two oxygen will go to the second nitrogen and a bond exists between the nitrogens and finally we have dinitrogen pentoxide so again similarly we will put one nitrogen here we will put another nitrogen here then out of the five oxygen two oxygens will go for this one of it being double bonded other being dative and similarly the other nitrogen also will get a double bonded oxygen and a datively bonded oxygen and now we have one more oxygen and that will be like a bridge between the nitrogens like this now this is dinitrogen pentoxide so these are the structures very easy from their oxidation stage we can write their formula from the formula we can easily write their names and from the names we can go to their chemical structures okay and now if you look into their form we can say that this first one this is a colorless gas First one, nitrous oxide is a colorless gas. Similarly, this is also a colorless gas. Okay. Dinitrogen trioxide is a blue solid. And dinitrogen tetroxide is a colorless solid. Finally, dinitrogen pentoxide is a liquid. It's a colorless liquid. Okay. And in this, there is one thing that is left out. That is the very commonly known nitrogen dioxide, NO2. That also, that was not mentioned in this table. It does not come under this pattern. So, I didn't mention that. But that is NO2. And that has an oxidation state plus 4. So, NO2 also comes in the same set. NO2. This is what we know. Nitrogen dioxide. And since space is not there, I'll just draw the structures on here. Nitrogen dioxide, as we all know, has one nitrogen only and two oxygens. So definitely, one of it will be double bonded, the other oxygen would be dative bonded. And this, as we know, nitrogen dioxide gas, it's a brown gas. Okay. So these are the oxides. 
size of nitrogen that we learn in a very simple manner.